So Dr. Phillips, we've talked about something that's a little embarrassing to patients sometimes, and that is you know, we want to know about the character of their stool or their bowel movements because it helps us uh, figure out how advanced the condition might be. I wonder if you could flesh that out a little bit. Why, why is that such an important part of the assessment in patients with chronic pancreatitis? Thank you, Dr. Forsmark, for raising this. Indeed, bowel habits are something that we frequently talk about in the gastroenterology office, even though this can be a very private issue for patients and something that's not natural to them to raise with their doctor. But bowel movements are very important in chronic pancreatitis. As was previously mentioned, the the stool testing that is done in chronic pancreatitis is done to look for the levels of pancreas enzyme that are produced. One of the most frequent tests that is done these days is called a fecal elastase one test. And this test looks in the stool for that specific enzyme that is made by the pancreas in order to determine how much is present and whether that's a normal amount in the context of what the patient has been eating at that time or whether that amount is low, which sometimes may indicate that the pancreas is incapable of either making or secreting an adequate amount of digestive enzyme. This test, along with several other possible stool tests, can allow the pancreas provider then to respond appropriately and be able to supplement the amount of enzymes that a patient is taking, specifically pancreatic enzyme replacements, to ensure that the patient is adequately uh, digesting their food and absorbing the appropriate nutrients. Mm 